New on Wake Up Sea Bus. It's now 644. Summer break is heating up. Students at Mifflin Middle School wrapped up the 2022-2023 school year with a cookout. Columbus City Schools shared a few pictures. That's a pretty cool idea. Of course, summer fun can also mean summer slide, and this slide is not a game. Summer slide refers to a decline in reading ability and other academic skills that can occur over the summer vacation months when school's not in session. Research shows that students benefit from quality summer and extended learning experiences, especially children who are from low-income communities who typically lack the resources to extend their education beyond the school day. Well, Cassie Barak from the Columbus Metropolitan Library joins us this morning right here on Wake Up CBUS to talk about some options. Cassie, first of all, I want everybody to know your title. You are the Young Minds Program Leader. A lot of parents going, uh-oh, hello, I need to hear what she has to say. <laughs> so thanks for joining us and tell us first, what do we do to start convincing our kids that reading can be a great part of summer fun? Uh, uh, good morning and thank you for having me. I think the the first thing we need to do is, is find ways to make it interesting. Um, kids want to read things they're interested in all year in school. You can have your assignments. So let's get books and other things that, um, that align with what they are interested in, um, whether that's dinosaurs or cars mm -hmm. or whatever. And the best place to find that is go to a Columbus Metropolitan Library. We have amazing staff that can match up a just right book that um, is your child's interested in and it's on your child's reading level. And so how do you make it seem less punitive? Should parents set a time limit or a day or should we just say, hey, instead of playing Xbox, I don't mean a brand name of game, but <laughs> should you pick up a book? Well, you know what? We have a summer reading challenge going on right now through July 31st. And the challenge is to read a little bit every day. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up online or you can come into any of our 23 library locations to sign up. And basically the challenge read 15 minutes a day for 30 days, earn things like books and coupon prizes and get your name into raffles for things like zoo memberships and, and a bike. Oh. So, uh, visit the library. We've got lots of ways to, to get kids excited about reading. So let me ask you, I've been to a, several of the branches and they are big and for people who don't get to the library it can be kind of daunting. So can you give us maybe two or three quick steps for how to navigate those spaces that might be new to some folks? Absolutely. So signing up for Columbus or for the summer reading challenge, you can go to columbuslibrary.org and sign up right online or um, visit the library. Uh, one of the things we're great at at Columbus Metropolitan Library is uh, meeting families where they are. Mm -hmm. So when they walk in, expect to be greeted and we will show you uh, where our kids area is. And that is where you sign up for the summer reading challenge. We make it pretty obvious um, and we're really um, welcoming to okay. families coming in. So please come visit us. Thank you so much. And we appreciate you joining us to this morning. And I would also say I've seen that Buzz Lightyear and a few other celebrities already have their <laughs> library cards. So we certainly hope that awesome. folks will watch and uh, take advantage of what the library offers. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> have a great day. You Bye -bye. too. 150 years. All right. Yeah.